I want you to go back the last six months. I want you to look at your credit card bills. I want you to look at your any checks you wrote out of your checking account, cash you withdrew from ATMs, cash that you withdrew from the bank, any type of digital payments that you're using, such as Venmo, PayPal, and look at it the past six months. Go back 12 months, even more ideal. And what was the average number? And if you found the average number was 10 or 20 or 30,000, perhaps that's the right number. That's the first step. The second thing, step I want you to think about is of that number, were there, were there certain transactions that were miscellaneous, right? Maybe a roof went on your home, you had to replace it. That was forty, forty-five thousand dollars. Well, you can back that out because most likely you're not going to have another roof issue in the next six months, two years, five years, hopefully ten years or greater. If you just joined a country club and you had to put a down payment of twelve, fifteen thousand dollars, and that's going to be annual dues, and that's got to be included. So go through the details of those numbers with a fine-tooth comb to make sure that the average number that you got is accurate. That's step one.